This is Father, come again, oh Heavenly Father. Father, because of your love and you have sent it to us another day of grace, oh Heavenly Father. So, Father, come lifting our hands up this morning. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the prayers. But I said, Lord, I thought it was you that the better rain for each one of us to be here today, oh Heavenly Father. Father, we said, Thank you, Heavenly Father, for our perfect provision for our future. Lord, we ask you, Father, we have our ways that are to the world, Heavenly Father. But Father, he said, thank you, Heavenly Father. But just moving men in our hearts, oh, Heavenly Father, as we have came to a cemetery at this morning, oh, Lord. We ask you, Father, we ask nothing impossible for you, Heavenly Father. Father, we pray for the nation of Heavenly Father. We pray for our friends that are overseas, oh, Heavenly Father. That is in a contact for our soul, oh, Heavenly Father. Pray for the families and children that have scattered everywhere, oh Heavenly Father. Well, Lord, that you look tired and, and you look low, Heavenly Father. Lord, we see all our needs, oh Heavenly Father. But Father, have mercy upon all over the world, oh Lord. Well, Lord, we have to kind of help us understand your word today, oh Heavenly Father. That your gospel and preaching so long as we are there to lie up to the priest's word, oh Lord. Living in our heart and Instead of them do not defend the Lord. Father, we pray for the one that we preach and break the bread this morning, Lord. Pray for our pastors, our first lady, and all members of this church. Those that are here and still come and get us up on the back. Well, Lord, we say thank you again for this day, for this day of heaven, Lord. This opportunity, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Something a little different. 
something educational and also something uh, some, some to raise. So we want you to participate. This time we're going to go with science and uh, Ruby. Ms. Ruby Blue, she's our narrator. So uh, here we go. Yes, I also want to give honor to the Lord. And just pray that uh, we do things decently in order. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, nurse, uh, let me have a uh, and Jacob, please. Yes, sir. <laughs> so vitals are good, doctor. Vitals are good. Thank you. Vitals good. Yes, yes. Form of this, uh, there's a, a stress. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you get to the heart. Thank you. 
of the Twitter state. And it frequently ranks as the great heavyweight boxer of all time. Mm -hmm. In 1999, he was named Sportsman of the Century by Sports Illustrated and the Sports Personality of the Century by the BBC. Yeah. Oh, I'm so friendly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I speak like, I smoke like a butterfly, sing like a bee, rumble, young man, rumble. Okay, so this is our um, participation, please. Okay, our first. Um, so we want you to. We're going to put on the demonstration. What we want you to have to tell out who it is. Okay, our first one. First word. First word. First word. First word. Two syllables. Black. First syllable. Oh, first syllable. Here, my sound like sound like A, B, C, D, E, L, D, H, I, K, I, L, L, P, L, 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 L,
Good morning. Good morning. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is in within, within me. Bless his holy name. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continuously be in my mouth. Good morning again. Good morning. Giving continuous blessings to the angel of this house. Continuous blessings to the first lady. Other ministers on the roster, and to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Once again, I gratefully stand before you all to say there is a message in the music. Uh -huh. Some saying on our journey from slavery to being free from slavery to fighting for rights to fighting for equal rights to suffering from being mistreated to the continuous struggle of being a black or African American. Through it all, we've had songs to tell of our joy, sorrows, hope and pain, songs of what was, what's to come, what has come, and what is to be. There is a message in the media. A message that can be depicted as negative or positive, but a message nonetheless. As I thought about the songs that have been rendered over the past week, they all are timeless because we are still needing, needing to sing songs of survival, needing to lift our hands and ask God to lead us on. We are still needing to take a stand or stand with the one who has decided to stand for us. Today's song is another lasting song. This song was written in 1900 by NAACP leader James Weldon Johnson. It was deemed the Black National Anthem in 1919, as this song is the musical motivation for generations of African Americans in the endless crusades for equality and the never ending battles to see and humane treatment towards African Americans. As I repeated every week, our songs tell of our joys, sorrows, hope, and pain. This song portrays the essence of freedom, suffering, and joy, and it was deemed the Black National Anthem for its capability for African American people. All right. Well, for it to voice the outcry for liberation and affirmation for African American people. Now, once again, time does not permit uh, to break down each stanza to go in depth of its power. But when you go look up the lyrics, meditate on them. But one verse that caused me to have a mm, moment is one that is rarely sang. We usually stop after the second verse that ends with. Let us march on till victory is won. But the next verse states, stony the road we tried, bitter the chastening ride, felt in the days when hope unborn had died. This road ain't easy, y'all. It's gravel, rocks, tacks, and hurdles on our road. It ain't no smooth sailing. And these licks that we have endured and that we are enduring, these words that tear at us, they are bitter. Yeah. They are harsh. Yeah. Every jab, every body shot, mm -hmm. every tongue lash, being called the N word, blackie, monkey, dummy, uh -huh. every no that we've been told because of our skin tone or our race is done out of complete animosity. And it creates strong resentment yeah. to where we didn't see and sometimes don't see hope. Yeah. We can't see or couldn't see that better days are coming right. because the unbirthed hope dies. The unbirthed anticipation and aspiration was aborted. Right. Then it poses a question, yet with a steady beat, have not our weary feet come to the place for which our fathers sighed? We are tired. Mm. Are we there yet? Mm. 
Haven't we been through enough? As we have kept it moving and as we keep it moving, have we not arrived? Have we not reached an era where our father's stock can be mocked? Did our father ever release a breath of relief? And I'm just about to wrap this up. But there's another verse that calls on the Lord. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, thou who has brought us thus far on the way, thou who has by thy might led us into the light, keep us forever in the past, we pray, lest our feet stray from the places, our God, where we meet thee. Does this not take us back to precious Lord? I get so tired. I'm weak and I'm worn. Lord, I can't hear nobody pray. I want to stand up and take my people.
that the victory is already ours. The victory is already ours. These little battles, these little wars that we're fighting, in the meantime, we have the victory. The battles are to help strengthen us, to help us strengthen our brothers and sisters.
encouragement through song, victory. We don't know how God is going to do it. We don't know when or how he's going to be, but we know that he's going to make a way out of nowhere. Amen? And then at this time, we are going to have a poem by Brother C. Jack. And this poem is called, I Too Am American. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes. <laughs> but I laugh and eat well and grow strong. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll be sitting in the kitchen when company comes. No one will dare say to me, eat in the kitchen again. Besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I, too, am America. Wow. And America, I think that we have great times thus far. Amen. So a wonderful, wonderful time. And we are going to go a little bit higher. After this rendition, this song. Uh, we are going to uh, turn it over to uh, the pulpit in charge, and after which we will be back with um, a final selection for the invitation. Amen. So this is one of our favorites.
They saw the beauty of the land, but the other end of it, the vision was more fearful. They were fearful because of the struggle that they would have to go through. And anything that's worth having is worth struggling for. I've been married a man 52 years. Is that right there? Two years, amen. And it had been a struggle at times for us to have clarity and understanding one with another. And when we first got married, our marriage wasn't one that was made in heaven. Amen. It seemed like it was made somewhere else, amen, because we had some trials and tribulations that we had to go through. But it was a struggle that made me love her even more. It was a struggle that made our relationship as stronger, amen, and stronger year by year. And now I've got to a point that I can't live without her. You know what I'm talking about? So it is a struggle, my brothers and sisters, as we go through this journey with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The ups and downs of life, it is the struggle that makes us stronger. But what we have to understand is, amen, that if we say to ourselves, I am strong enough, amen, that's the problem, or I'm not strong enough. The problem is that you're still too strong. The Bible says when I'm weak, then he makes me what? Strong. Is this innovation in our life that makes us strong? And if you're living in the strength of your own will and your own way, you will always fail. But it's the struggle that makes us strong. Yes, and I'm saying to you today, amen, whatever you're going through, whatever opposition that you are facing in your life, whatever you're dealing with, amen, allow yourself to be humble under the mighty hand of God. And guess what? He said, he said, he said, not me, but he said, I will exalt you in due season. Not your season, but my season. It's a struggle that makes us strong. Thank you. You all who perform the program and it's a wonderful song and so amen that you had a man in our history. It has been great, amen. Now we're gonna hear a word from God, amen. We're gonna from God and, and from the person of uh, Amen. Brother Lawrence Moody, Amen. And he's going to
Learn to finish things. Bring them to accomplishments. We must not be content with plans, ambitions, and resolves with part of a message, part of an education, but be set and be determined to fulfill the promise and complete the task and secure the full training. All right. He says, give us then, O oh Lord, to resist today Come on. the temptation of shrink and the grit, G-R-I-T, the grit to endure to the end. You see, the boy, the boy is insane. He, he seems to understand something very essential Come on. about human nature. Uh -huh. You see, we have a tendency to give up. That's true. Uh -huh. We have a, a, a tendency to give up on things before they have been completed. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see, we quit too soon, in other words. Yeah. If things do not come easy, yeah. we are inclined <laughs> to shrug our shoulders <laughs> Say that it was not meant to be. Come on. And then we walk away, right? Yeah. So, how many marriages hmm. end because someone gives up so easy Come on. and then they walk away too? Wow. How many people who go to school, too many academic programs have, not, have been abandoned? Yeah. How many back manuscripts are gathered dust? on a bookshelf, how many career ambitions have been traded in for something less difficult, wow. less challenging, yeah. a little easier to attain, all because lack one basic thing, the ability and the determination to endure. So I doubt that what I'm about to say here today will be new to most of us. Come on. But it bears being repeated. Nothing in life is worth having is going to come easy. That's true. Right about that. That's true. In pursuit of whatever our goals or dreams, uh -huh. may then there will be times when the only thing standing between us and either victory or defeats us is our willingness wow. and our ability to endure. That's true. Right. The word endure is not complicated right. to understand, but extremely difficult to master. Yeah. You're right. You see, it means that when you are so tired, come on, come on, baby. You got to keep going. Yeah. We keep going when we seem overwhelmed. Yeah. We keep going. Yeah. When all the odds are against you. Come on. And success seems out of reach. Yeah, yeah. We just keep going. Yeah. Endurance. Yeah. There is nobody in history who has ever achieved anything of substance who did not have to dig down deep oh, for a little more strength. Yeah. And determination, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And simply endure. Yeah. Think of it like this. We all know about Harriet Tubman. Uh -huh. Harriet Tubman says, when you hear the dogs barking, uh -huh. you keep going. Uh -huh. She also says, when you see the torches uh -huh. in the woods, yeah. you keep going. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. When you hear the shouting uh -huh. behind you or after you, uh -huh. you keep going. Uh -huh. Harriet Tubman says, don't ever stop. That's a taste of freedom. You keep going. Yeah. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, that is the spirit of endurance yeah. that has marked the journey yeah. of as us, as a people yeah. in this country. Yeah. That is the spirit of endurance uh -huh. that has marked the legacy of this country right. years and years ago. Yeah. And that is the spirit. The spirit, the spiritual resource I am going to urge 
each one of us to stir up within ourselves today. Keep going. Ask God to give you the get grip to endure. This is the victory song that Paul is singing right in this scripture. He says, I have fought a good fight. Finish my course, and I have kept the faith. And you know, Paul was going through the same thing on his journey throughout the world when he taught the message of Jesus Christ at an earlier time in his life. He had sought to destroy, and you know, he took a few perilous missionary journeys throughout the world. To attempt to make the name of Jesus known yeah. Yeah. in all places. These were enormous challenges. In mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians in 11, chapter verses 23 through 28, uh -huh. he recounts some of it, but to endure for the course of Jesus. Uh -huh. Paul was whipped, he was beaten, yeah. Yeah. he was shipwrecked. Yeah. And he had drift at sea. Yeah. He was in prison. Yeah. Hounded by those who sought to kill. Yeah. Constantly enduring hunger and other physical discomfort. Yeah. And that is, there is probably no one in all as Christians today or even history suffered and sacrificed for Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And Paul, the apostle, and talked. And yet, ladies and gentlemen, by the end of his life, mm. when he knows he is the only day hours away from having his head cut off oh, yeah. by a Roman executioner, you see, Paul utters the pardon declar declaration. Uh -huh. He says, once again, I finish my race. You see, Paul was able yeah, yeah. to endure whatever obstacles and challenges that he faced, to endure whatever difficulties mm -hmm. are set in our path, Come on. and finish whatsoever race we are attempting to run. It will not be easy. In fact, enduring is quite difficult. On, Am I right on. about that? Yeah. Endurance is precisely what we need as we go through life. Yeah. Let me be more specific. To endure in pursuit of the goals we have to establish for ourselves in life. Second, we need to be able to endure in response to harsh disappointments yeah. and setbacks. Yeah. And third, we need to endure when it becomes clear that they are not going to come true, but we discover in those hard hours that life is still worth the living. So let me examine this. We need to endure the face of things, maybe hard, but our wrath whatsoever we need to invest to achieve them. Now, you heard of and whoever's a good basketball fan, they were trying to talk about the late Kobe Bryant yeah. and LeBron. Uh -huh. The debate was filled by who scored the most points right. or rebounds or assists. Mm -hmm. No matter how good they both were, they have to work hard. No matter how much talent what are you saying, Reverend Moody? No matter how much natural talent and ability you have, uh -huh. the key to success is the work ethic. Uh -huh. to keep something uh -huh. great in life, we have to be willing to work hard at it to get where we're going. What happens? It doesn't come easy. Do not quit trying to endure. Yeah. This is not only true in the world mm -hmm. or in the sports. If you want to raise children mm. in a world like this, you have to work hard at it. Work hard. Yeah. So is marriages. 
work hard at it. You work hard at it. This is not some type of fairy tale yeah. or watching some Disney movie. Uh -huh. It goes by determination right. and the grit to endure to the end. Yeah. There are many, there are, this is what I call the ABD, uh -oh. all but dissertation. That means a person has taken all the courses, mm. passed all the exams, uh -oh. and entered in the different degrees. Mm. However, at some point, the variety of reasons that could not finish the dissertation, right. their extended paper that was both the proof of mastery well. of the material in their field of study and their own contributions mm -hmm. to that to their field. They have done a lot of work, but they did not finish. There are all kinds of ADDs in this world. Careers, goals, financial plans, relationships. That's all about the ADD. Life is full of people whose every word, as if only or almost, or I try. And black history, mm -hmm. the lessons that were that we were taught, that is untaught in schools uh -huh. across this country. Remember the Tuskegee Airmen, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. when the people did everything in their power yeah. Yeah. to stand in their way. What happened? They allowed their black fly pilots and their ground crews to be successful mm -hmm. in a such a, in a hostile environment. Yeah. They do. Yeah. And General Benjamin O. Davis Jr., on, when he attended in the U.S. Military Academy for that entire time, he was not, he, he, when a cadet spoke to him, or no ever cadet spoke to him, mm -hmm. outside a class, sharing a meal with him, or bumped in a room with him. Uh -huh. How did he survive that isolation and the discouragement? He endured. Yeah. When Jackie Robinson yeah. endured on the baseball field, yeah. Yeah. when Joe Lewis yeah. endured in the boxing ring, yeah. Yeah. when Thurgood Marshall endured in the courtroom, yeah. when Adam Clayton Powell Jr. endured in the cause of conflict. When she fought against slavery, yeah. when Wilma Rudolph endured in the overcame, when she overcame polio yeah. to win the Olympic gold medals in the Rome back in 1960, yeah. when Tiger Woods yeah. endured when he won the U.S. Open in 2008, uh -huh. when Serena Williams yeah. endured when she won the Australian Opening yeah. and the uh, Open Tennis Championship. Jesus Christ himself yeah. endured when he arrested, yeah. was arrested yeah. when he was tried, when he was mocked, and when he died on that old rugged cross. Yeah. But God raised him up yeah. with all power in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Endure. We all have one thing in common. The determination and grit to endure to the end. Paul tells us, as I close this out, I have finished my race yeah. and move on to his words. I kept the faith. There are times in life when you cannot do one without the other. There are moments in life when you cannot do one without the other, there are moments in life when the only way we are able to endure is when we hold on to God's unchanging hand and believe that God will see us through. As strong as as many of us have are, there comes a time when we need to hand our situation over to God right now. There are times when relying on our own strength is not enough. We have to run our race.
We have to put our faith in Jesus. Endure. Jesus can help us to endure. May God bless you. And we thank God for the message, and we thank God for wow. the message. Good luck. I have finished my course. I hope all of you realize, amen, that each one of us as a child of God has a course that God has set for us to follow, for us in the other race, for each one of us to run. If you're here today, amen, while this number is being rendered, will you come? So thou will be done that's it, that's it. with the trouble.